proud to sponsor the Midnight Madness program. of the film festival, and that was Hostel. Yeah. And was like, well, we don't have a print, it's a work of progress. Like, can you show digital? I'm like, we'll, we'll figure it out. And um, so I'm really happy that he's back because uh, this film, he's the producer, co-writer, and he's also the star, and you guys know him, and he loves Toronto so much. Put your hands together for Mr. Eli Roth. It's our 10 year anniversary, and we get to go on a date with all of you. So, <laughs> afterwards, we'll be doing a live demonstration on, on stage. Um, this is a, such a special experience for me. 10 years ago, I came here, and it was the last movie in the festival, and I made this weird movie in the woods for a million and a half bucks, and nobody had ever heard of me or knew anything about me or the film. And you guys here, it was Toronto that made me feel so welcome and really gave the movie a chance and made it a success. So thank you so much. And I told Colin a few years ago, and then I came back here with what at the time was the very first digitally projected movie ever at the Toronto Film Festival for the premiere of Hostel, and there were two ambulance calls. One person thought they were having a heart attack and left, and another person passed out on the escalator. And so thank you again. Hopefully tonight, perhaps we'll have a free ambulance film, but regardless, um, I hope tonight, tonight is a very special night because we have a filmmaker here. This, he's 29 years old and this is his sixth movie. His first thing, when he was 17, he made a television show on MTV called Piloto MTV. At 19, his first film, Promedio Rojo. I've been such a fan of his. We've been wanting to work together. We sat down, we wrote this movie with our writer Guillermo Moido, and we said, let's just go to Chile and let's make the, a, crazy movie where we have total control and I'm so excited you were the first audience in the world to see it. So thank you so much. And for us, it's the first time we have seen it. So we hope we have a whole new wonderful group of new actors and let me bring them on stage. We'll bring in our special guest. So let us have Ariel Levy, 
Our stars, Aria Levy, Matias Lopez, Andrea Oswald, Lorenzo Iso. Our fearless director, please make him feel welcome, Nicolas Lopez. Um, oh, there are some Chileans there. Viva Chile! I'm really drunk right now. Like, super drunk. Like, I masturbated thinking about Eli, like, two minutes ago. You know, because he's like the George Clooney of horror. You know, like he's the George Clooney of horror. He just told me that I was the George Constance of horror, which is super lame. You know, when I grew up, I was watching like movies from George Romero and Guillermo del Toro. And like all the directors were like fat and they have a beard. And now you have to be all fit and shit, you know? So it's, you know, it's a nightmare. He like has me on a diet. You know, I, have, I, I haven't eaten sugar in two months and I still look like this. So fuck this bullshit, like for real. I look like this, you know? Two fucking months. You know? So I don't know what to do because now to get a power drink, you need to look like an average comedy model. So it's really hard for me. You can bring that look back though. I know, especially being a Chilean. Tell, tell, tell about the first movie you ever saw, and then we'll do a Q&A after. Well, the first movie that I ever saw was Back to the Future Part 2. But the thing was that I was really young, so I thought that it was Back to the Future Part 1. So for me, Back to the Future Part 2 was a prequel, you know? So Back to the Future Part 3 is like Back to the Future Part 2. So the summer of 1989 was like, I really fucked up for everybody that grew up in that time, you know? Because you have like Rocky IV, Back to the Future 2, and Lone Buster 2, I mean, what the fuck? You know? It was like really fucking hard. Like, like for me, if a movie doesn't have a, a fucking number after the title is fucking lame. You know? So that's what we call After Shock. Like for me, After Shock is After Shock 2, the series of the Ooze. You know, a set of maps of the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sequel that we all love. You know, so I'm really happy that you're here. I'm really happy that I'm drunk. I'm really happy that I masturbated thinking of our little rock. You know, like everybody here. And I want you to come on. It, it, I, I want you guys to have fun. It's a really horrifying movie about what happened. During the real effort that changed shit that was done. What? Whatever, you're gay. So, uh, I mean, not gay like homosexual. I mean, gay like, like, like gay, you know? I, I don't understand uh, the, 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 the English. It's very hard to be to make the English because I'm from, from the Chile. So, it's, 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 really, it's really hard. But, uh, I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy to be drunk. Uh, okay, I'm not drunk. We're I'm not drunk. Continue. I'm really sober. We're gonna continue after. Have Stay a good time. Q and A. And uh, uh, please, if you love this movie, please tweet about it and use the hashtag AfterShock. Okay? Or you can use the hashtag Nicholas Lopez has a big cock. Okay? <laughs> Oh, and are you and me, we're both single, so if you want to fuck a chubby Chilean, you know, that's fine, you know? It's the main reason we're here. We have a candidate right over here. We have a candidate right over here. No, we don't care if we guys or girls. We have $50 over here. No, we have $75. I see $75. Introduction at Roy Thompson Hall ever. <laughs> and I think that you just broke the F bomb record that Kitamura sat for uh, No One Lives. Thank you very much. All right. So.
Get ready, because your earth is going to shake. It's going to rock, and you're going to be plunged into a nightmare. And just a word, of course, you know, the worst behavior in cinemas today is that self-important prick in front of you who pulls out his cell phone in the middle of the movie and blinds everyone. Turn those things off now. You guys are here to see a horror film. I pity the fool who pulls out their cell phone and amongst you guys. All right. We are